have ID OD. So we are going to measure OD. So we have set it on OD. Next is so release count is one micron. Then we have absolute value which is 24.996. So we are going to enter that. So 24.996. Okay, this is done. This is the setting, UTL value. So we are going to set 20 microns. And LTL minus 20 microns. Set. Okay. And we are going to set high master. Let's see what is the high master. So it's not so visible, but we will set the high master and low master here. So we are setting high master. 5 microns plus and low master which is 7, seven microns minus now the setting is done now we are going into okay. measurement mode first we will do the calibration shift tab enter now we are putting the low master And you can see showing. This is set. Now we are setting high master. Entering high master. And this is done. So now it will show the absolute value. The absolute value we entered was uh, 24.996 and this is minus 7 microns. So it is showing 24.99989. Okay, now for high master, let's put the high master, it will show 25.001, which is 5 microns plus. Now, uh, this is the master setting. Now we'll just, this is uh, actually a fixture and Actually, it is not into 100% same dimension, but we are just going to do it as a um, just same. for looking at. Okay. So the dimensions are not same, but in case now, now this is also a fixture where we have multiple air calipers, right? The same way it can be done for crankshaft. So this is just a sample example. Okay. So this is how we do the verification. Done.